Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. First of all, let me just tell you guys why I say hello Lolas really quick. I say this every now and then just so people know because new people that's new to the channel want to know what is a Lola. First of all, click the subscribe button so that you can become a Lola. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Now, <laughs> Lola um, is the term that I use I that derived from a book that I was reading of a lady that used to house sit, but while she would house, house sit, she would be in a lot of like high rise um, condos and stuff like that. And she would take her binoculars and she would look through windows of people houses and she would make up stories and imagine what it is that they actually did for a living, what they did with their day, you know, all that great jazz. So it was like, she was just, um, you know, just peeping into people's lives. And I feel like, you know, as a YouTube creator, we allow you guys to kind of peep a little into our life. You guys may make up, um, whatever it is that you think, you know, we do, you know, off camera or whatever. So that's why I say hello, Lola's. Um, so anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get him dressed. I had this little bunny sleeper for him and also bunny pajamas, the same exact print for Phoenix. And I thought because Easter is coming up, um, it would be great for them to be wearing it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start getting him changed. He is um, the prototype Aspen by Claire Teller, um, painted by me. And he is not going to be sold. Um, I know most prototype artists sell their work, um, auction it off, and all that great jazz when they get done. I am on the fence if I will sell Abby or not. Um, I will do a video with her soon, but she may be available after, you know, the pre-orders and everything. I'm just not sure. I haven't decided, but I know for sure that I will be keeping um, Aspen. Um, so, I will let you guys know. Um, the kit, if you guys are new and have not heard me talk about the kit, um, the kit is a very newborn size kit. Um, he is like 19 inches, um, a very nice size, you know, head circumference. Um, he has really nice shape head, so he does good ball or rooted, or probably he would do good as with painted hair as well. Um, they do come with the um, non-gender, um, just a regular, just like half tummy plate. Um, so it can be a boy or a girl. Um... And as you can see, they have his open hands. Both the hands, all the fingers are separated. And uh, the toes, some just some of the toes are separated. But the big toes are separated, so you could definitely wear little sandals. Summertime. Full arms and legs. And um, the prototypes, of course, is embroidered to say... Um, Claire Teller Dolls Aspen Prototype by Miss Serenity Smith. So th they do have the little embroidered bodies. They uh, do have the little bum bums. So. <laughs> so they have the cute little bum bum. If you like that. I weighted him a little light so that he could be flexible and pose and Lots and lots of poses. I mean, he's got weight to him, not light, like, weight-wise, but he's not, like, fluffed really tight. And that's so he can fall and pose and ball up like a newborn. Um, I can always change the weighting to be a little bit more full up here. Usually when I sell a baby, I, I fill them up a little bit more up there. But for me, I'm liking him like that. And I should have brought him a undershirt, like a um, a onesie that's a uh, tank top onesie. But I'm not gonna put his uh, 
tummy plate back on because I'm just going to put him in a sleeper. But, yeah, so, like I said, as the Abby is awake and she is lighter uh, complexion baby. So, um, she has a different, she has a total different face. I love this baby so much. I love the, I love both of them, but I really love, like, the inside of the mouth is just like so detailed for a reborn and I don't know why I got so crazy about painting inside but I really like detailed out his inside of his mouth and his tongue and um and I texture up my babies but he has a very special unique texture to him that really looks like skin in person and I never can quite capture the coloring on him, but like his tongue and inside his mouth looks so super real. But so I, um, for those that you know, maybe new to my channel, my most favorite sculptor and painter artist, um, um, and I have quite a bit. Um, I have two that I'm really big on, and that's Claire Teller and Bonnie Brown. Um, but I also love um, Laura Tudor Ross, um, you know, Natalie Blick. There's a lot. So, but just to be able to have, like I said, I have to keep saying it because it feels like I can't believe she actually chose me for prototype. So I definitely have to keep at least one of them for for myself so he so far is the chosen one I was gonna keep both but I'm thinking of what all I have coming into my nursery and I really probably shouldn't just keep keeping every single baby that I make if that makes sense so oh my gosh you so sweet I want to do something with his hair. So therefore, um, I will be deciding um, and I will post if I decide to sell Abby and I will let you guys know. His hair, just like her hair, can be um, styled like, you know, wavy you know, lay down or curl up. I I like it kind of like a mix. Um, I don't know, but her hair is more have can get more curled than his, except for the top. The top of his hair is more curly than his sides on purpose. Um, when I had them. Rooted, I was very specific on, well, with him, um, I kind of just told, with uh, Abby, I just, I picked the hair and everything, and I was kind of like, just go with the flow of her, you know, face and stuff like that, and she did, and I love it. I, I actually really love the way her hair is as well, but... He is my little snookums. <laughs> I'm, I'm really loving my babies. Um, and it's hard to pick which ones that I will keep. And, you know, originally I always be like, I want to keep this one. I'm, oh, no, this one is not going anywhere. But then, you know, after a couple weeks or days, I'm like, okay, reality of the situation is... <laughs> I really need to not keep try to keep every single baby so that's where I'm at with that um you know I've had a lot of inquiries over time and I just um I don't know and I, I don't like to make decisions before the babies are complete not completely done with rooted hair etc etc because sometimes you know, I changed my mind. <laughs> Sometimes I'd be like, oh, no, I can't let it go. I can't let it go. So I don't want to commit to anything. So just like now, I'm still on the fence. So 
you know, just allow me the time to decide and I will let you guys know. Look at this. Look at your hair on this side, boy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at you. And you know, it, I know a lot of people like their baby's hair to be so like perfectly combed and styled and all that and stuff. And I'll be honest. I feel like it's a waste sometimes because look, he's just going to lay on, you know, the back of his hair. So I don't usually even do a whole lot. I'll like style the front and sometimes I don't even style the front. I'll just brush it with my fingers, like, you know, kind of brush through it with my fingers and let that be that. But he can, I don't know, sometimes I like it just a little messy. So I'll just do that. After I do all that brushing, I'll turn around and just do this sometime. As if you just do that. It just looks like a regular baby. And all you got to do is kind of like just do something with the, the edges of the hair. And it'll, to me, it gives it more of a... A real life baby look because baby's hair is not gonna be perfectly all slicked and parted and all that stuff that we do so and I I like to walk in a room and see my babies and be like okay that's just a real baby that's just a real baby right mama and I tend to do this and I, I, I love his hands and his feet because they're really dainty. But I tend to like to have them with their little mitts. Because when they're little like this, I'm, a lot of times you, you cover them up because of the, they scratch their faces. So, anyway, that is my little boy. Let me see what you guys can see. Uh, so, yeah. I can give more light. Sorry for the noise. There we go. But yeah, that's Aspen. He's a sleeper weeper. Um, but yeah. So now that I got him ready, oh my gosh, I just love him. <laughs> I want to pick him up. This is why I usually change my babies in my lap because I like to hold them when they get while I'm dressing them and then I I'll be ready to pick them up. And when I do it in a video like this, I can't pick them up because you guys won't see them. So anyway, I'm gonna end this video because I gotta pick him up. <laughs> see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And um, yeah.